In this video, you will learn how to create reordable list view in Flutter. For example, in my emulator, I have displayed 10 items in a list view. Now I can easily reorder them by drag and drop specific item to specific position as shown. This widget allows you to not only move item above current position, but also below current position. Now let's jump into the code. Firstly, I have created a list of integer values using list.generate method. And I have set it to generate 10 integer values. Now back to our scaffold body widget, we have to return a reordable list view widget with the builder method. This builder method requires three parameters, which are on reorder, item count, and item builder. Item builder return a single widget that will be displayed in the list view. Item count decides how many items should be returned from the item builder. So in this example, the number of items to be displayed is the total count of the integer list that we have created above. So I will set the item count to length of the list. On reorder is a callback used to update the order of the items. This callback provides two integer parameters which include old index position and the updated index position. Now coming back to item builder, I will just return a simple list tile widget that display the item index as title. Next comes the important note that you should be aware if you are trying to modify or reorder a list view. Whenever you add, remove, or reorder any items in a list view, you should provide a key value to each item. Key provides a unique identifier to each item so that Flutter compiler knows which item is added, removed, or position changed. Without providing key value, Flutter compiler might behave abnormally during adding, removing, or reordering widget. So in list tile key parameter, I will add a value key with the item index as the value. Regarding key, I will make another video to explain in details in future. Now we have completed our item builder. Let's try it out in the emulator to see if it displays the items correctly. Now you can see 10 items display in a list view. However, it's not reordable yet because we have not complete on reorder callback. So in the on reorder callback, firstly, we have to check if old index is smaller than new index. We have to decrease the new index by one. Old index smaller than new index indicates that the item is being moved downwards. This decrement is only needed when item is moved downwards. Next, we have to remove the item at the old index using remove add methods and provide old index value into the method. After removing the old index item, we then needed to insert the remove item to the new index using insert method. So the overall logic of reordering a list view is just by removing the selected item and insert it in the required position while readjusting the entire list view position. Now let's try it out in the emulator. So now I can drag an item and drop it in any position and the list view position will be updated. It works perfectly on reordering from top to bottom or bottom to top. Conclusion, this is how you create a reordable list view in Flutter. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.